If you're planning to launch your MVP app with Bubble, building it with no code, and you haven't seriously considered an email API provider, then this video is for you because I'm going to be comparing my top three, starting with Resend. Uh, so Resend is relatively new onto the scene, and here we go, they say email for developers. And Resend to me is comparable, at least feature-wise, with Postmark. Uh, because if we dive into their documentation, uh, and then the API, we get a taste of what we can do through the Bubble API connector engaging with the Resend API. So of course we can send emails over API. Uh, but, uh, I get lots of questions about this. What if I want to add my users to, uh, allow them to add their own domains as senders within the app? Well, if you need to do that, then you need something like Resend because you need to be able to add a domain over the API uh, so that your users can add their domain through your app and you can verify that and you can ensure the highest possible deliverability uh, but, but while sending through their domain. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got audiences and we've also got contacts. So everything you need, bare basics plus a little bit more. Next on my list is Postmark, and I've been a big fan of Postmark now uh, and using them across Bubble and WordPress sites for over three years. Uh, and I partly love Postmark because they just lay everything out so easily. Yes, they are built for developers, but it's all explained in plain English. Uh, and once more, you get a range of features. Let's dive into the API documentation. Um, and so, yeah, you can, you can, of course, send emails. Uh, you can do things like send a, a click open stats, that sort of thing. You can set up domains uh, through their API. You can set up set, sender signatures. Uh, so a really serious contender. Uh, I've experienced great support by their team. Um, yeah, big thumbs up from me with Postmark. Uh, and then uh, lastly, but of course not leastly, because also a big fan of loops because loops gets the basics of email for SaaS right and it's so simple and it's so easy. Uh, they have features in here for both your marketing and transactional emails. So uh, they've got automation. So you know you can replace MailChimp uh, or, or anything like that uh, with uh, loops uh, and you can send from your domain name of course and you can set up audiences, you can send up automations like I've just said. Uh, really cool, really simple. Here we go. It's an idea of a user journey with automations. Um, the one thing you can't do with loops yet, which I have mentioned and is worth comparing with Postmark and Resend is that loops is for sending from yourself, from the identity of your app to your users. They do not yet allow you, uh, or I've not seen maybe someone knows any different. They can leave a comment down below. They, um, they don't let you send emails on behalf of your users. If you need to do that, then check out the uh, previous offerings. Um, so yeah, that's my roundup of emails. Uh, if you want to learn uh, more about building apps with Bubble, then click the link down in the description uh, where we go into depth on many of these providers uh, of how you can add and get full access to the API through your Bubble app using the Bubble API connector, not relying on plugins, just going direct to the source so you have that full API capacity. So do go down, click on the link in the description and check out our website and our hundreds of Bubble tutorials uh, to get started on that and truly accelerate your Bubble journey. Thank you.